Yo, what is going on everybody? It's Nova. Welcome back and uh I'm really happy. I'm like <laughs> I'm like happy and I'm shocked, but shocked in the way because I'm surprised at how the devs are handling the communication between their players. And that's just always been a huge thing with me. I mean, you guys already know that. I mean, it just comes natural for anything. Communication will always be key no matter what it is you're doing. And today, Terra announced their console roadmap all the way up until January 2019. They also had a stream after this announcement and taking some questions and talking about some things that were not mentioned in the roadmap. So there's a lot of stuff here, lots of things that make me excited, but at the same time, some things that make me a little concerned. And now let's get into what the next six months will look like for Terra console. So August is right around the corner. It's literally like a day away. And a lot of people have been theorizing that the Ninja would be coming in August and the Valkyrie would be coming in December. In August, as we already know, the server merge event will be taking place on the 20th and lasting until the 21st. If you guys missed that video, it will be linked down below along with the blog post that was on their website. So in August, we're going to have a new PvP Battleground game mode coming and it's going to be called Gridiron Battlegrounds. Now, Gridiron is a 15 versus 15 PvP mode that is essentially a, uh, a team deathmatch with 70 kills and that is said to be launching right when the servers go live on the 21st after the server merge and here's the thing that i'm a little concerned with about here with the server merges happening in less than a month have the devs sorted out all the lag freezing and crashing that would occur in the game in low populated areas not just high populated areas but low populated areas it's already bad enough in high watch i mean can you imagine the numbers being multiplied by four for the four servers merging together in High Watch. And then you have your basic Battlegrounds course here in the game right now that crashes more often than a high flyer without a parachute. And I'm just sitting there wondering. I'm just hoping that it's not worse because on each of the servers that we have now, it's already bad. And then merging those together as one, it is going to be hell. It is going to be hell, but I do have faith in them. We also got a new in-game event that is coming up towards the end of the Summer Festival. Uh, I guess that will be pretty cool if you're into that. So in August, it's you're going to have your server merge, Gridiron Battlegrounds, and a Rootstock and Pond Fair in-game event. Not really sure what that is, but we'll figure out in the next couple of weeks. Also... On the 14th of August, this goes for the server merge events. On the 14th of August, everyone will have five character slots in their item claim. So enough about August, let's talk about September, my birthday month. Guilds will finally be in the game and it's about damn time. Honestly, it's taken long enough and guilds should have already been in the game from the start. There, sh there actually should have been a lots of things in the game from the start, but we're not here to talk about what should and shouldn't have been in the game at start. You know, nobody really got time for that, but guilds will be fully active come September with leveling, quest, all those things. And during this month of September, the ninja will finally be released just like we all predicted here on my channel. We don't have an exact date yet, but I'm thinking it's going to be early September or the second week, probably the week of or after my birthday. So I am excited for that. As you guys know, uh, I made a Mystic and Ninja on PC, so I'll finally be able to have my dynamic duo back in action here on console. But what really sucks, and this is something that I didn't get to mention in my server merge video, is that for players who bought Founders Packs early access with multiple character slots with the intention to save names for classes that were yet to be released, uh, it sucks because now it seems like doing all of that early access, spending $100 plus on Founders was literally for nothing since you can just create the character with the name you want now but have someone on the different server with the same name 
and they have more play time on it than you and you don't get to have that name you know that's honestly some bullshit and for anyone out there who bought founders packs you know let me know down in the comments you know what you guys think about that because i think founders should have priority but you know it's it's whatever i guess i am honestly disappointed about how they uh, went about doing the uh the the name servers or the name transfers whatever you want to call it the names should have been done differently i think so in october which is really nothing special here it seems to be a pretty dry month for a lot of games in the industry but there will be a halloween event and i don't think i've actually ever done this on pc now that i'm thinking about it so i am curious of how it will actually run on the consoles because it takes a lot more to make things run on console than it does on pc so that's pretty much it for october now this is a really big month you guys november biggest month out of this entire roadmap lots of things will be happening in this month now here's the thing that a lot of people not only on the forums but other content creators like tenek 127 have been talking about and i'll leave a link to his channel and video down below talking about this but in november there will be a major build update containing two new dungeons, new endgame gear, a shit ton of class rebalancing, and a whole lot of more stuff. Now, here's what they didn't mention in the roadmap about this big update. The mega patch is the mega patch that people have been talking about in the community, but it will not bring console players within six months of PC. I know, I know, I know, it sucks, it sucks. But this patch will not bring us within six months of PC. Instead, it will bring console players eight to ten months from PC. So they're pushing us farther and farther away from PC. Still, I know a lot of people are going to be upset about that, but you guys have to understand that console and PC are two entirely different machines. And there's a ton of more work that needs to be done for console. In November, this big mega patch will include the Warrior revamp along with several other class revamps. Uh, screenshot functionality will also be implemented in the November mega patch as well. Now, in December, players will see a new endgame dungeon again and there will obviously be a christmas event going on in the game uh to close off the year but in january the valkyrie as i predicted will be launching at the start of the new year with another end game dungeon and honestly you guys this roadmap doesn't look half bad looking at it now again like the third or fourth time uh you know four new end game dungeons from here to the end of the year with one new pvp mode Two new classes and lots of updates to the game that, you know, should have been made prior to release. But hey, I'm not complaining. I swear to God. I swear. I'm not complaining, you guys. It's better to have something coming than to have nothing at all. But, you know, all of this looks great and everything on paper. But here's my question. Where is Arsenal? Where's the gear enchantment system revamp? Where's Horror Hold? Where's Nexus? If the mega patch that is supposed to bring console and PC within 8 to 10 months now instead of the 6 months of each other, and listen closely because I only deliver spoilers here on this channel, you guys know that, uh, that would mean that 8 to 10 months from November, we should see the Arsenal revamp, give or take a month or two, probably the same time this year, next year, so August, July, we'll probably see Arsenal. And during that duration, I mean, we're already seeing that the Valkyrie is going to be releasing in January. So that means that Ellen Gunner will probably make its way sometime in the spring. But then we have to factor in the male brawler and the Ellen brawler too. Because the Ellen brawler, that is also a thing now which was just introduced on K-Terra. And it's looking like... At the start of the new year, we'll, we'll see another Terra console roadmap that will give us, you know, the answers that we need about Arsenal, Horror Hold, Nexus, the gear, enchantment system, revamp, and all the other classes and things like that. But, you know, what wasn't mentioned in the roadmap is that Horror Hold is still not ready for a 2018 or a 2019 release. 
They mentioned that on stream. They mentioned that the delay is due to the failure of the event running on console, and it might result in a lower player count than what PC is accustomed to. It is going to be pretty interesting nonetheless to see everything play out. There will be unique console features added within the next couple of months. Screenshot mode is coming in November. A LFG system is coming. They didn't say when, but they did say that it's coming soon. TM. They didn't give us a date or month when it will come, but it is coming. And there will be a new announcement this Wednesday, this week, for a new event that will launch this Friday, this week. So make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. So let me know what you guys think about this Terra console roadmap. You know, what are you most excited for? And again, congratulations to Bree for winning the 1000 EMP giveaway from the last video. And with that being said, I do hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. And one last thing before I get the fuck out of here. Out of the six months we have in this Terra console roadmap, which month are you most excited for? And what are you most disappointed about in this roadmap? Drop it down in the comments. And with that being said, my city needs me and I'm out.